Hi guys, in this video we're going to be solving for the yellow side. It should look like this when you're done. This is step 5 in solving the Rubik's Cube and the rest should be already solved. So you should already have a cross and the rest of your cube should look like that. If you don't have the cross, then go ahead and watch that video. The link should be in the description below. To solve for the yellow side, the way you hold your cube is important and also how many corner pieces you have that are yellow. And I'm going to go through each scenario and then you can choose which one you have and hold it the way you need to in order to solve for the yellow side of the cube. If you just have a yellow cross with no yellow in the corners, then you want to hold your cube so that way there's a yellow corner piece on the left side of your cube like that. So there's the top or the upper side of your cube and this is the left side with one left yellow corner and this will be the front. And the sequence is the same. We're going to do are you, are you, are you, you are. And it's going to go R is clockwise. We're rotating the right side back once U, which is always clockwise, we're rotating it to the right once. R, and we're going to rotate counterclockwise, which is RI, rotating it down. And then U, rotating it clockwise to the left. R, clockwise back, U clockwise to the left, U again clockwise to the left, and RI which is down or counterclockwise. And we're going to look on the top of our cube. Now I have the cross still with a yellow in the corner. We don't want to hold it like this, or like this, or like this. We want this yellow corner in this yellow side, or in this bottom corner, bottom left corner. Once again, we're going to re repeat the pattern. R, rotating the right side clockwise once. U, rotating it clockwise once. RI, rotating it counterclockwise. U clockwise once, the upper side. R rotating it clockwise. U rotating the top or the upper side clockwise once. U again rotating it clockwise once more. And then RI rotating it down and you should have your yellow side. If you don't, repeat that pattern once again. R U R I U R U U R I and you should get your yellow side like that. If your cube looks like this and you have the cross with two yellow corner pieces, then you want to hold your cube so that way you have a yellow corner facing you in the front like that. So it doesn't matter where the two corners are, you want to make sure you're holding it with a yellow corner in the front like this for the front side of your cube. This is the top and that's the front. The pattern is the same. We're going to do R U R I U R U U R I. To start the pattern, we're going to go R. We're rotating it up away from us clockwise. U, rotating the upper side clockwise once. R I, rotating the right side down towards us. U, rotating the upper side clockwise once. 
are rotating it clockwise away from us, U rotating the upper side clockwise once, U again rotating the upper side once, and then RI rotating the right side down. So after I finish the sequence, I want to look at the top of my cube and on the yellow side I have one yellow corner. If I have a yellow corner, I want to hold the corner on the left bottom side of my cube. So that's what my top should look like and this will be my front. And every time you start a sequence, you have to always check the top of your cube to make sure um, you're holding it correctly. If this is the sequence that you have or the pattern you have, then you need to hold it this way. And once again, we're going to repeat that pattern. R, rotating the right side clockwise. U, rotating the upper side clockwise. R, I, rotating it counterclockwise towards you. U, rotating the top side once. R, rotating the right side clockwise. Then U, rotating the upper side once. U again, rotating it clockwise. And then R, or RI, rotating it down counterclockwise towards us. You might have to repeat this pattern two or three times to get the yellow side. So once again, we check our top, we finish the sequence. Let's start with holding it the right way with the yellow corner and the um, bottom left corner side of our cube. So we're going to go R, U, R, I, U, R, U, U, R, and you should have your yellow side. So the pattern is the same, R, U, R, U, R, U, U, R, and that should get you to the yellow side. If you have a yellow cross and one yellow corner, you want to hold it so that way the yellow corner is in the bottom left side of the cube. And that's the top side and this will be the front. So we're going to start our sequence. It's R, we're turning the right side clockwise. U, turning the upper side clockwise to the left. R, I, turning the right side counterclockwise. U, turning the upper side clockwise. R, turning the right side clockwise. U, turning the upper side clockwise once. U again, turning the upper side clockwise. Then R, I, turning the right side counterclockwise. And once you finish the sequence, check the top of your cube and once again I have a yellow corner with my cross so I'm going to hold it with the yellow corner in the bottom left side of my cube start my sequence again R U R I U R, U, U, R, I, and that should get you to your yellow side.